I am now explaining how to integrate the identity collector as an additional identity source into our network. So we are using the identity collector in parallel to the identity to the AD query identity source after we connected it to the gateway and of course we monitor the identity sessions. And that at this time of the project to move to identity collector the identity session on the security gateway is still learned by the identity source AD query. So the user Alice on this machine is still learned by the AD query. It's not learned by the identity source identity collector, even if the identity collector is already aware that Alice has performed the logon. This is because we haven't connected any gateway yet. So now let's configure the security gateway to work with the identity collector. We first add a host object for our identity collector. We then add the identity collector as an identity source. A year in my lab, I'm working in Microsoft Azure. This is why I need to have the external gateway. I'm selecting my relevant server object. I copy my pre-shared secret. And now I can install the security policy. While I was installing the security policy, I started in a CLI session a watch command for my reference IP address. Note that the user Alice still learned via the AD query identity source. And access role matching like before. So Alice is not aware of any changes going on in the network. Now, in the identity collector, I need to add the security gateway. I need to select the demo pool and I'm testing the connectivity. I'm accepting the fingerprint of the certificate. And after correcting the pre-shared secret, I have a successful connectivity.